In this screencast, we're going to look at a couple of common tuning methods that are used to try to make sure that your um, PID controller has the kind of response that you want it to, right? So given these targets, either minimizing one of these error criteria or shooting for a given decay ratio, so given those kinds of targets, how should we go about choosing our PID parameters so that we meet our targets? So one classical tuning method is called the Cohen and Kuhn method. So this method has been developed assuming that your process can be represented by a first order plus dead time model. So that's very important. So you assume that you have a first order plus dead time model in hand. And it aims to satisfy three different performance criteria. One, you want your response to be QAD, or quarter amplitude decay. Second, you want to minimize the ISE, and you want to minimize offset. So the table 9.2, which in your text is on page 302, summarizes what values this method recommends for your three different tuning parameters. And here's the table. So basically, assuming that you already have a first order plus dead time model, which gives you your value of kp, theta p, and tau p, so that you already know those, given that model, what should your kc be for proportional only control? Well, it should be this. So you can calculate what your kc should be. If you have pi control, then this is what your kc should be and this is what your tau i should be. If you're trying to use PID control, then you have your KC, your tau i, and your tau d defined by this method. So that's one classical tuning method that we could use. And it's fairly aggressive because it's been uh, put together in order to satisfy the QID performance criterion. Skipping past that example, the next method that we're going to talk about here is something called the Ziegler-Nichols tuning method. So in Ziegler-Nichols tuning, what you do is you want to first do an experiment with your system. So pretend that you're, you're uh, out in the field, you're in, in some industry, you're looking at some sort of chemical system. And what you want to do is you want to add a P-only controller to your system. And then you do a set point closed loop step test, which means that you have your system running at steady state where it's on your set point, and then you do a step test where you suddenly increase the, step, the set point by a certain amount at time t equals zero. So to do this kind of tuning, first you use, you use proportional only action. You do your step test and see what happens. Then you increase your um, controller gain and do your step test again. And do this over and over and over again, increasing your KC slowly and doing the test until finally what you'll get is you'll get sustained oscillations in your system because you've made KC too large. What you're going to do is you're going to call this value of Kc, you're going to call it the ultimate gain, or often, often referred to as Ku, K sub u, the ultimate gain. Then, when you look at those sustained oscillations, you measure the period of those sustained oscillations. That period is going to be called Pu, or the ultimate period. Once you have Ku and Pu, you can go to this table, which is table 9.3 in the book, also on page 302, and you can calculate your desired PID tuning parameters. So for proportional only control, this method recommends that you use a controller gain as one half of your ultimate gain. If you have PI control, it recommends that you use your proportional gain as 45% of your ultimate gain, and then your tau i is going to be your ultimate period divided by 1.2, etc. You can also read these uh, what you should do for PID control right off of the table. Now these Ziegler-Nichols tuning uh, settings are fairly aggressive, and they may require fine tuning if you want to get everything right. So for example, if, this is, if these are the two PI parameters that the Ziegler-Nichols tuning method, uh, or sorry, if these are the two PI parameters that the Ziegler-Nichols tuning method um, gives you, and it ends up being too aggressive, or maybe not aggressive enough, you might want to just change them on the fly using something called field tuning or fine tuning. So you have some parameter ft, which you might set to be equal to, I don't know, 0.8 if you want your um, controller to be more aggressive than what the Ziegler-Nichols uh, tuning parameters have given you. Or maybe 1.2 if you want it to be less aggressive. Then basically what you'll do is you'll choose the value of your ft, your fine tuning parameter, and you'll calculate new values of your controller and see how those perform. That, will, that way what it will do is it will 
you'll have the right ratio between Kc and tau i, according to Ziegler Nichols, except for, you, for you'll be adjusting that, um, the actual values by this Ft parameter.